But first tonight at 6, how long should you have to wait to buy a handgun? One lawmaker says maybe not more than an hour. The proposed bill rolling back a nearly 40-year-old law. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Lee. And I'm Eric Franke. It's all in the name of technology, but domestic violence groups say not so fast. Political reporter Jess Garr has a story you'll see only on News 3. Jess. Well, for nearly 40 years, you've had to wait 48 hours to buy a handgun, a concept some say is outdated, others say is crucial for safety. We probably sell more of those than anything else. Customers at Deerfield Pistol can't expect to pack their purchase home the day they buy it. If you buy a gun, we do the background check and the paperwork, and then we store your gun in the safe until you come back and pick it up. That 48-hour process has been the same for all handguns since 1976, and until recently, the background check might take that long. But Brett Fankhauser says now it's all online. You run the background check, and I would say within an hour, you probably have an approval. That's why Republican Senator Van Wongard says it makes sense to roll back the requirement, calling it a time tax. I can't walk in the door and purchase one without having to come back again. So now there's all the driving time and all those things involved because that's 45 minutes maybe to where I go purchase my, my firearms, you know, from where I live to where I go to make a purchase. And so now it's causing me to spend more time and more money to be able to do that. But domestic violence organizations call the 48-hour wait critical to victim safety, a cooling off period. You, know, you have to ask yourself if someone wants a gun instantaneously or within a matter of an hour or two, why do they really need it that quickly? It seems if someone needs a gun very quickly, chances are they're up to no good. Wangard disagrees and points out that there's no waiting period for long guns. There's no waiting period on knives and edged weapons, and a lot of homicides occur that way. Are we going to put a 48-hour waiting period on a, a brand new set of uh, kitchen utensils or, or baseball bats? For his part, Fankhauser says some current gun owners would be happy for the faster turnaround, but he can also see the need for the wait. There's that aspect where, you know, as a, as a guy that sells guns, I don't ever want anybody to get hurt with one I sell. Now, Fankhauser offers that maybe the middle ground could be eliminating the waiting period for current gun owners, but not new purchasers, with everyone still subject to a background check. Wangard said he was confident that he had the votes to pass the bill, as is, in both houses, and he will introduce this bill next week. All right, we'll see where it goes. Jess, thank you very much.